So you want to know what it's like inside a quarterback room when we're looking at other quarterbacks? I'm about to tell you, coming up right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, I'm going to talk about what it's like being inside the film room with the quarterbacks when we're looking at other quarterbacks. Obviously, we review game tape all the time. You're looking at game film, trying to break down coverage, break down defense, figure out what you're going to be doing on scheme that week for a game. But as a result, we get to see a lot of other quarterbacks play. And so the conversation in the film room is oftentimes a fun one. But first, if you love football content, if you love breaking down X's and O's, if you love talking about the game and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. That way you get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get into the quarterback film room. And leave me a comment down below. Love to hear from you, what you're thinking, what you'd like to see in terms of video. Also, please share this video out. Teammates, family, friends, fans, anybody who might like football. We're trying to grow this channel because the content on here is geared towards helping young athletes and helping fans understand the game better. And so the more we can grow this out, more people we can help. I appreciate your support so far. I'd love to keep growing this channel so we can reach more people. Now, let's talk about the quarterback film room. So, Quarterbacks, in general, everybody comes in with their own set of gifts. Everybody has whatever arm strength they have. Everybody has foot speed, quickness, size, height, weight, all that stuff. And so genetically, we're kind of geared to be who we are. As a quarterback, we would all love to have tools like Jared Goff's arm. That would be fantastic. We'd love to be able to run like Kyler Murray or have that kind of quickness. Uh, th so there's some innate tools that quarterbacks have, and obviously – as you're watching game film, we all acknowledge that. We see it. It's like, wow, he just, you know, Goff just ripped that ball. Or, you know, Jeff George, when I was around, he just had a hose. Brett Favre could throw it through a brick wall. And so you watch guys like that, and you're thinking, you know, I'd love to have those tools. I saw Jeff George in a game one time when I was with Tampa throw a ball on a backside post that he threw it 40 yards down the field and it never got higher than 10 feet. So he absolutely ripped it. But – Jeff George, although he had a long career, was never that high-ranking quarterback, even with the incredible tools. And of that list of quarterbacks that I talked about, the tools aren't everything, right? Brett Favre was a phenomenal quarterback, but it wasn't just his huge arm. It was his whole game. It was his leadership. It was his toughness. It was his ability to understand, read, and process the game. And so when you get into a quarterback film room, quarterbacks that know, you know, once you have some understanding in college and definitely up at the pro level, when you're watching game film, what we're looking for is the processor. We want to see the computer that drives the machine. As we evaluate quarterbacks, the one thing that we're very critical of is how does a guy process the game? Can he anticipate throws? Is he seeing coverage? Is he understanding what he's seeing? Is he making reads and then delivering an accurate ball? We'll sit in quarterback meeting rooms and kind of joke back and forth about different reads and keys and compared to stuff that we've done. So as a young quarterback, I will tell you this. You need to continue to work on your physical skills. You don't have to process as fast in high school, but the faster you process, the better you're going to play. But you need to continue to develop your physical skills. Get faster, get stronger, get bigger. And definitely right now, if you have the opportunity, improve your passing mechanics. And I've got some outstanding news about that coming up here pretty soon in terms of passing mechanics. So make sure all that stuff is better. Physical, you can work on. Processing, you can work on. Get in the film room, get on the whiteboard, study your offense, understand what concepts you're running versus what defenses. If you do that, pick up your game on the mental side. Improve your processor, right? Get more threads. Make it faster. Become a quarterback who anticipates. Put that together with your physical skills, and now you're the whole package. Now, most quarterbacks, at least quarterbacks that have played a lot at a higher level, are forgiving of things as they look at plays. When I would look at plays watching guys, I would obviously break down coverage, break down defense, understand what I had. Then I'd look at play concept, figure out what that concept is. I already know what coverage is. I know where that should take me for my read for the route. You get forgiving when you see stuff like a quarterback looking to throw that flat, but a tackle flashes in front of him or line blocks him and cuts him off. He doesn't make the right throw, but you can see why he doesn't make the right throw. And what we're not forgiving about is getting a clear read, clear picture, 
understanding route concept and still not knowing where to go with the ball or being late on your read or being a see it and throw it guy, having to have things come open before you make your read. The best quarterbacks, the best quarterbacks, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, Brett Favre, like I mentioned, Aaron Rodgers, throw with anticipation. They understand what the defense is trying to do to them. They understand where their route concept fits into it. And they throw before their guys are open or they're throwing as their guys are coming open. Especially in the league, you have to do that as a quarterback because windows close up so fast. In Power 5 football, they close up really fast. In the NFL, they close up right now. And when you get to that pro level, all of the players who go on to play for money later on are the best of the best players in the country. So it happens quickly. That said, quarterbacks in a quarterback meeting room are all about processing speed, right? It's like having that hyperdrive computer. And the one quote that you always heard was, yeah, he's got a million dollar body, but he's got a 50 cent computer. If you can't process, you can't play the game at that high level of that rarefied air, those quarterbacks that I was talking about. So that's the quarterback film room. Just wanted to talk to you about that today what it's like, what we review, what we look at. And that's exactly what coaches are looking at too, by the way. So improve your game all around. Get your physical skills better. Definitely, definitely improve your passing mechanics because that's the first thing that coaches see is your passing mechanics. And if they're bad, they'll go next guy. So passing mechanics are key. And we got a big announcement about that here pretty soon. But also improve your processor. I appreciate you watching. If you understand better about processing the game now and why it's so important, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff. The stuff that I put on here is going to help you process the game faster, help you understand the game from a strategic standpoint. And leave me a comment down below. Love to hear from you. Love to hear what you would like to hear about so I can help you improve at the game. And please share this video out. Family, friends, fans, anybody who you think can improve their game or who enjoys football content, please share this video out. I'm trying to help as many people as we can. So the more that you share, the more people we can help. And we appreciate the support that we've gotten so far. So that's a little bit of quarterback training, football skills, film room study. Improve your game. Hope you hopefully make you a better football player and a better quarterback.